always uh, always giving thanks to life, God, our creator, and our ancestors for creating an opportunity for us to be able to get together this morning, to be able to build and to support each other in our growth as a community. So this is the OFC Weekly, where we get together once a week, every Tuesday morning. Um, first off, uh, for those who don't know, we have an audiobook club where we get together every Tuesday um, from 7 a.m. to 7.30 to go over an audiobook. Right now, we're doing the 5 a.m. club, which is teaching us how to um, basically control our morning to master our lives, something like that. I might, I might be throwing off the slogan, but you guys get the gist. Um, that is what's going on with the audiobook club. And then from 7.30 to 8.30, we meet on this on a weekly. Uh, this whole thing came to being because of a collaboration that we have with BNI. And for those who don't know, BNI stands for Business Networking International. They are the largest business networking platform on the planet. Um, they have a very structured and um, rigorous process in terms of uh, supporting their businesses and their growth. Not everybody is BNI ready and not everybody's interested in, in becoming members of BNI is why we have this space. So different in BNI, our space is open to individuals, organizations, as well as business owners. Our meetings are um, completely bilingual. So please feel free to express yourself in the language of your choice. If necessary, we will translate. Si necessaire, on va traduire. Today, um, also other things that makes our sessions a little different because we are open to individuals, um, organizations, as well as business owners, we encourage you all to share. As an individual, you could be going through different challenges in life. You have questions about your family, you name it. We are here as a community to support each other in our growth. As nonprofit organizations, we're here to encourage you and to create awareness about your programs that uh, that you may have to offer to members of the community. And of course, as business owners, we are here to support you in your business um, and to encourage you to help you to get sales and to offer you coaching um, opportunities. What else to expect um, for this morning? As we transition, we are going to cede the floor to Ken, who is going to give us our teachable moment. He is on with us supporting our businesses and our affiliates. After that, we'll do a quick tone the tab where we'll have the affiliates who are with us this morning introduce themselves to you all and let you know what they uh, offer um, as uh, affiliates in the community. And affiliates are those who are more partners with the OFC and who are here to offer services to you all in terms of members of the community. Then we will have our uh, the rest of our members introduce themselves, let you know who they are, what they do, um, what challenges they may have and the support that they may need. And last, but very far from least, oh, actually, then I'll give some quick announcements that you guys know what's going on in the community. And then last, but very far from least, we have our featured guest, the one and only Ed Veltus from Group 3737, who's going to take some time to introduce a little bit about the organization that he's representing, Group 3737, as well as to plant some seeds about the financing that is currently um, made available through his organization and uh, give you guys an opportunity to ask some questions. And then we will close up. So that is what to expect for today. As we do our two on the tab, you guys, each person has roughly 90 seconds to introduce themselves. Once you hit your 90 seconds, I will start to make scenes on the screen just to get your attention. So you guys know that your time is up. We're still working on that, guys. Once we'll have, soon we'll have a new platform. We'll, you know, you'll, you'll know when your time is up. But for now, I will wave my hand so you guys know what's going on. All right. So with no further ado, I'd like to cede the floor to Ken to share our teachable moment. Thank you, Ken. Grand rising, everybody. Uncle Ken is here in the room. <laughs> well, you know, it's been a pretty interesting year, I have to admit. And it reminds me of the song by John Lennon. So this is Christmas. Another year over. Look what we've done. But most of us never take the time to think about what we've done. Most of us don't have a tool to evaluate how we've done. Uncle Ken has a tool and he's happy to send it to you for free if you send me an email asking me for it. And here's what it looks like. It's your Blue Ocean of Possibilities review of 2023 and plan for 2024. There's five pages that asks you questions. And I believe it's gonna help you you see the little compass there? Yes, the compass, because everybody needs direction. That's what GPSs are for, right? They help us to get to a destination. Well, this is a tool I'm going to send you for free because another year's over. It's Christmas. 
and look what we've done. I believe we've done amazing things, but if we've got this amazing tool to help us evaluate it, we might find out, wow, how many things we have to celebrate. That's my teachable moment. You gotta send me an email though to get a copy of this wonderful template. Five pages, have fun. Give me feedback. Thank you very much, Ken. So just to reiterate, the teachable moment is to have a plan, is to do a recap for the year and to plan for the year coming up. And you have a tool to provide to us. Lessons Thank learned you. and awesome. lessons going forward. Amazing. Thank you, Ken, of course, for the energy and for supporting community as you do. So, all right, as we transition, let's give a moment to our affiliates and the partners. Uh, as I see, hey, Dr. Justin Pierre, Grand Rising King, the floor is yours. Long time no chat. Oh uh, wait, are you are you here listening or are you uh, participating? Oh, I did forget. You can as yes. a member, you're uh, able. Uh, yeah, you're here. Yes, yes, yes. Good, uh, good uh, morning. morning, um, to everyone. I want to say thank you for giving me this opportunity to be here. Um, uh, the OFC is a great organization. Um, my company name is is Don Pierre Barnett and Company. Uh, we are a research firm. And um, so far, we want to thank uh, the various organizations for helping us. We have uh, been successful in getting through our second phase of financing through the Bank of Montreal, who has given us a tremendous line. And we are very happy. And so this 20, 2024 will be a great year for us. And we're still building our Black Data and Information Portal so where we'll have a, a centralized location for uh, Black Data. So once again, thank you for very much. And uh, it's a pleasure having you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, uh, Brother Pierre. Thank you for being with us. And thank you for what you're doing within community. You. As you know, data runs the world. So being able to support you in your initiatives, to be able to accumulate data, house it, store it, and uh, use it to the betterment of the community is huge. So we're glad to be able to encourage you and support you in that. And thank you for what you're doing for us as well. All right, let's keep it moving. Our next affiliate we have is the one and only Dr. Dorothy Williams, Grand Rising Dr. Williams. The floor is yours. Good morning, everybody. I uh, was running a little bit late today, but uh, it's good to see that I came on and a lot of energy to move to move with uh, the rest of the morning. I am president of blackbiblio.com and my company and the team that works with me, we are here to basically change Canada. I can't put it any other way, except to say we create educational products um, whose goal is to share with the rest of Canada our great 400 year history in this country. And that is brand new. For some people, it's radical. And that's great. We want to change a mindset. And that's what our products are all about. So if you're interested in supporting this initiative, call it a cause, if you will. My company can be contacted at 514-937-1733. You can also check out um, philosophy about us, et cetera, at uh, blackbiblio.com, which, <laughs> which actually was uh, put together after the company name. Um, and you can <laughs> say you can definitely give me a call at 514-937-1733. Um, I'm available to answer any questions and to support your initiative to help uh, your community to, to change and to support Black youth wherever you are. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Williams. For you, I, di I didn't turn on the timer. I was like, you know, you have all kind of awesome things going on. I like to give you the time to share. <laughs> but uh, also, I, I do want to give you kudos because um, like we've been talking about for some time, you're in the process of even uh, creating your nonprofit organization that I think is exceptional because you do have a cause. In addition to what your the, the amazing product and tool that you've created for the community, your desire to um, change the landscape is something that's noble and um, deserves the support. Uh, that a community could give and support you through your nonprofit. So I'm glad that you're uh, in the process of developing that. So that is huge. Um, keep up the great work, Dr. Williams. All right, let's keep it moving as we go down the line. Next affiliate. Uh, oh, we have a new affiliate, Brother Clark. Welcome to the OFC. 
a brother Clark is a new affiliate that has joined our community. He has an awesome initiative that he's launching great things that he's doing within the community. I want to give him a moment to share. And actually I had mentioned, I forgot to mention at the beginning, but Dr. Williams just did it. When you guys are giving your contact information, one, I always encourage that you guys share it in the chat so you guys could connect with each other. We are here to network, but also remember to audibly say your contact info because our sessions are recorded. So after the fact, somebody, if they, if somebody is watching the video and they would like your information to be able to connect with you that way. All right. Brother Clark, are you available to speak? Yes, I am. Good morning, everyone. I apologize. I will not be on video. I am actually driving my daughter to school, but uh, I would love to take the time to introduce myself. My name is Clark Cadet. I am the founder of Clark Cadet Consulting. Uh, I teach financial literacy to young adults, adults, seniors, anybody who is in the BIPOC community who is in need of financial literacy. Uh, I'm literally your guy, and I'm also in the uh, process of creating the, the Cadet Care Foundation, which is going to be my nonprofit, uh, becoming very soon, very much affiliated with the OFC, and happy, happy to be here like, around like-minded people. Ways to reach me, uh, www.clarkcadet, C-L-A-R-C-K-C-A-D-E-T.com. And my Instagram uh, is a great following. I would love to have you there as well. It is Clark, C-L-A-R-C-K, the T-H-E, financial coach. Very easy to find. And again, uh, very happy to be here. Awesome. Thank you, my brother. And we are proud to have you as an affiliate and a partner of the OFC. Uh, as you guys know, um, financial literacy is wealth. And we are going to be working together to ensure that the youth um, are empowered through it. Uh, it's something that um the information that that clark has has been sharing with the community if we knew um if we if we were able to be blessed with the information that he's sharing as a youth um our life would be completely different today so this is what we are looking to do for our youth as they're coming up is to create that bridge create that opportunity um and to empower them uh, from a young age coming up so again clark thank you for what you're doing in the community and we're uh, proud to have you here looking forward to supporting you in your growth all right, I think that is our tool to tap for our affiliates. Now let's dive into the rest of our community uh, that we love and appreciate so much. And I'll start with our brother, She Love. And She Love is a member of the OFC and he's a part of our OFC BNI chapter as well. So we appreciate you, brother She Love. The floor is yours. Thank you very much, Green Rising, everybody. Thank you once again for, for your beautiful work, uh, Brother Farrell. Uh, my name is Shilav. So what I do is that I help um, a entrepreneur, new and an established one, to um, to get their goals and to um, to to better their goals by create for them a website that um, that uh, that resemble what that it resembles that the right word in <laughs> in English that's. Um, that that's reflect. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's reflect uh, what they what respect what what their mission is, what their service are, and uh, to uh, to get them better results, um, financial result, and so on and so forth. So, uh, if you're looking to have a website or to have a redesign of your website, please contact me. Um, I'll put my information on the chat. My phone number is 514-891-7866. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rushy Love. Thank you for the work that you're doing. Let's keep it moving. And if you guys don't have a website, you know who to reach out to now. Brother Fred from Liquid Green. Oh, well, well, good morning. Good morning. I have 90 seconds or 90 minutes <laughs> <laughs> to tell to tell a one week story. And it really has been a wonderful couple of weeks. Um, our radio show, unfortunately, is not on the air right now due to an illness, a very serious illness. Our producer had to have surgery and uh, hopefully we're going to be back on soon. That said, um, we've been busy with some uh, uh, uh Trade shows, um, Black Queens, we just completed that. That was a phenomenal experience. Um, a lot of people turned out and the, the results have been positive on that. Also, we uh, were at TGX. Every year they have an eco fair and uh, we've been going there for the past six, maybe seven years. And this year, I think we struck uh, the gold mine 
um, TGX. Uh, we are in currently in negotiations with them to have us in their stores. Right. Um, it's going to be in home sense. We're just um, waiting for them to send us back some information. Uh, we've also been working in setting up, um, trying to set up a community hub here in Toronto. Um, so those are some of the things that we've been busy with. Uh, you know, um, that's it. We are liquid green products. Uh, we make a line of green cleaning solutions. So if you have uh, an aversions to toxic chemicals, fragrance and stuff like that, and you're looking for something that is eco superior and works like the toxic chemicals, you need to check us out at liquidgreenproducts.com. I'm going to put the information in the chat and uh, you can also uh, touch base with Faro and he's waving his hands. Okay, so that's it. All right. Thank, you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, brother. And congratulations. That is huge, huge, big yes. shout out to you and Sister Janet. Um, that, that is exceptional. And that opportunity you guys are working on. Again, I would like to plug if, if we have anybody who's a pet owner here, um, you definitely want to get some liquor green in your house is great for clearing out stains and smells. But also we want to encourage the uh, we want more pet stores to purchase the liquid green products. Um, mm -hmm. So definitely, please. If you if you're if you frequent a pet store, think of uh, think of the community. Connect them with Brother Fred, Sister Janet, so that they can get their products um, into those locations. And if you are in Montreal, reach out to the OFC because we do actually have some um, some product on hand uh, that could, that we can make uh, available to you guys as well. We are also waiting for a response from your uh, referral in Montreal, the pet store. We've been in touch with him. He likes the product, so we're just waiting. Nice. I can make. I can do a follow up. I'll make a note yeah. and I'll reach out to them. Thanks. Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, what's his name again? Uh, Tony. Okay. Cool. Thank you. And actually, um, I'll let Sister Janet go right after, and then Fabian, the floor is yours. Sister Janet. Oh, um, it's only liquid green today. I'll only add the phone number four one six four six zero five six four five or fifty five green. 55 green. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And if it's of interest to you or of value to you guys, if you want to record a short, like, insert, like, a 10-minute, um, you know, something about liquid green, something about a product or a topic that you guys want to talk about, you could send it to me and I could plug it into our show. So at least while you guys are off, you guys could still have a, a little media presence. We, I'll plug it into our show every week. It's our pleasure to create that opportunity for you guys if you want to. Okay, That's awesome. Great. It's awesome. If you can... Right. We'll talk about it in a minute. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Oh, I did. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'll let Fabian speak. And then we have <laughs> we have we have Uncle Ken. Yes, who is also a freely and a partner. And you know, because I hear Ken all the time. We're Ken so often and, and he spoke our clean forgot. Ken, you know, it's all love. So brother Fabian, I'll let you speak and then we'll go back to another one of our affiliates, which is uh Ken. I uh, Fabian and um just to share the guests, I um, want to get information regarding the information session today. Awesome. Well, welcome, Fabian. Thanks for having you here. And this is the space to be if you're here to find out about um, the financing that's coming available through the Group 3737. You are in the right place, and we're glad to have you on board with us today. Thank Uncle you. Ken, the floor is yours. Again, our apologies. You know, next time, I'll have, right after you do your teachable moment, I'll have you speak right away. I'll simplify it. Again, Grand Rising, everybody. It's great to be back. Uncle Ken here to help you with all your business training skills that you need. Most businesses are average because they accept it and do not know how to get better. Strategy, sales, and leadership are the basic needs that we all need. Did you know that it takes three to four years to build a gold-winning athlete? Well, the same thing is true in business. They invest in themselves to win. We often hear, oh, it's too expensive. I don't have the time. Well, here's a shout out to those who did not think that. Carl Hammond Friedman, when, I'm out of, when I met him in 2004. Boom Jay's Cuisine, six years ago. David Robertson. Dr. Dorothy Williams is now working with me. Thank you, Dorothy. I really appreciate it. Um, Azra Phil Gulen. Many, many, and the list goes on. Carlene Sinis as well. Wow, what a list. In the end, we all have a choice to believe what we want. But if we want to get better results, invest in yourself because learning is expensive just as 
investing in yourself. My job is simply to help you get the results you want, to build your business intelligently, and I'm just a phone call away. 514-668-2320. 514-668-2320. Give me a call. Send me a text. Set up a free meeting. What else can I offer? Thank you. Amazing. Again, Ken, thank you. Thank you for the work that you do with the community, and thank you for supporting us in our business growth. Um, the key processes that you uh, that you've been teaching myself and other members of the community has been fundamental, monumental, and game changing. So thank you for that. All right. Last but very far from least, we have our sister Tushana, Grand Rising Queen. Thank you for being back with us this morning. <laughs> yes. Good morning. I had a meeting and then they canceled at the time of the meeting. So I'm back. Um <laughs> Uh, my name is uh, Tashana Williams. I am the CEO and co-founder of Orchid Black and Company Incorporated. I uh, We run a, a specialized consulting business that offers strategic services, tailored services to, to businesses and startups as well. Uh, right now uh, in, in the, in the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but in light of the the funding uh, that the, the funding theme that we have going on right now, um, I know that there's uh, there's funding from Group Three Seven Three Seven. I'm doing my best to get that out to people uh, to give them as much access as possible uh, to funding, and there will also be a meeting today that will be hosted by the BBI for non Quebec uh, companies as well. Um, I will share the link in the Super Hub and in the group chat as well for if anyone is interested in being a part of that meeting later on today. Um, my goal is to help people get what they need for their business. And funding is always something that people need. And to be able to help non-for-profit Black businesses, is it's a great honor. So I look forward to seeing you tonight. Awesome. Thank you, Sister Shana. Thank you for the help that you're offering to the members of the community, guys. As you're developing your nonprofits or your for profits, definitely reach out to Shoshana for the guidance and the support. Um, so as you guys know, I'm Farrah Faham Freeman, founder and director of the OOFC. As you guys know, we are the community resource. Um, our slogan is think of us first for all your community and your business needs. Yeah. So really, uh, we just encourage everybody as you need anything, reach out to us. In terms of uh, some cool and little initiatives that we have going on right now. For those who are part of the English speaking black community in Montreal, we hosted a meeting last week uh, that was very productive. Um, and we have another one coming up this week uh, where we're in the process of uniting uh, the members of the English speaking black community uh, and figuring out what kind of support is needed and what kind of structure we need to put in place to empower ourselves and our future generations. So um, if you have not received an invitation for that and you're interested in participating, please send us an email at OFCWeCare at gmail.com that's ofc we care at gmail.com and uh, the other thing i'd like to remind you guys if you have not been a guest on the empower hour yet reach out to us um asap actually this coming week we're recording um like three shows back to back in preparation for the holidays where we're going to be taking time off uh if you have a product you'd like to create some awareness about um a product or service or you know you're developing something, reach out to us. And it'd be our pleasure to have you on as a guest and give you that opportunity to promote to the community. We're on every week on CKUT 90.3 FM. Um, and uh, we also have a podcast that you guys can tune into online. Just search uh, OFC Empower Hour and you'll find it on Spotify. You'll find it on um, everything. OFC Empower Hour. So with that now, guys, I am excited to now see the floor to our featured guest. So we have the one and only Ed Velsis from the group 3737. Uh, he's been with them for a long time. I'm going to have, let, give him an opportunity just to introduce himself to you all. Um, as he's going through the presentation, um, Ed, would, would you like for people to wait till the end to ask questions? Or if they have questions as you're going through, they just put up your hand and ask the question. Maybe at the end because my presentation will be short. Okay. Perfect. So we'll go through we'll go through the presentation. If you guys have questions, please note it um, so that you guys can ask your questions um, once uh, once he's done the presentation. Brother Ed, and I, if you, I don't know if you need to share screen or not, but if you do, you can. If not, then the floor is yours. Mm, okay. So well, yes, maybe I'm gonna share uh, my screen a little on. But so first, my name is Ed Vertus. I'm the Vice President, Social Innovation 
at group 3737. And I'm also team lead for what we call the Supporting Black Canadian Communities uh, Initiative. And I was glad to hear that uh, Tashana talk about BBI, what they're doing. So in a way, we are involved in this. We are four organizations in the country who are running this, this program. This program is first a grant, but more than the grant, there are some services that we provide, namely uh, a community of practice. We give them access to professionals. And basically what we, what we do is helping uh, black organizations to better, to better serve their mission. And we do it by helping them in terms of capacity building. So why I'm here this morning, I'm here for two reasons. Uh, the very first reason is to let you know that we are in a call of project right now. So black organizations, they need to be non-profit, non-profit black organization, black led, black focused, black serving. So there is a call of project where they can ask for a grant. Uh, they can ask for a first grant of 45,000. This is a matter of capacity building is to help them with the governance, the management, and help them to better um, better improve uh, their sources of funding. And there's another stream where the organization can ask funding up to $60,000. We call this capital assist. So if they want to buy equipment to better serve their clientele, they can ask the money. And if they want to make some renovations in their space, um, uh, you have to be like a commercial space they have where they, they serve their clientele. So they can apply from the 20th of November, so since two weeks ago, until December 15, which is in two weeks. Uh, in the chat, I sent two links. The very first link is a page where we show the information sessions, also, you have access to the website where you can apply. But another important information, since we're doing, uh, it's an uh, open, fair, and transparent process. So when it's time to select the committees, the committee members, the, the committee, the members of the committee of selection, we go widely. It's, it's a public information. So right now I'm using this chat because I see that there's some people. Actually, you don't necessarily have to be black to be on a committee. You just have to self-identify yourself as black. Like letting know that you know about black issues. And basically what we do first, <laughs> first it's important that you are not involved in a black-led nonprofit who have the intention to apply. For example, you can be an administrator of a black-led nonprofit, but for some reason, you know, you know what? Our organization will not apply. So if your organization is not applying and you're still an individual, you're a professional, you know about uh, what are the complex issues of the black communities, you can apply to be member of this community. Um, and what we're doing, for example, last night we had our first information session where you, we introduce our process, how do we do, how do we make sure that we, uh, we run a, a fair process? You see the next meeting, will be this Thursday. But remember, there's a lot of dates. The dates I'm talking to you now, these are the dates because we're looking for people coming from the black, uh, Anglophone black community so they can be part of the jury. So that's why I send the link. You can use it for yourself if you sell self if you self-identify yourself as a professional who have a high level of ethics and you have nothing to do with black organizations gonna apply, yes, you can uh, reach out to us, 
do you come at the information session you send uh, you send us your resume and you said why you want to be part of of this initiative so this is the first thing but if for some reason you said you know what i look at the date and i will not be able to be there to 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 review or assess applications but maybe i know someone working in an and i know somebody else working in an organization and you think that person can be a good jury no problem you can send the link to that person that person will apply when i said apply not applying to the grant apply to us say hey i want to be part of this jury because like i said the jury are uh, individual who are involved in the community and and they want to give some free time when i said free time for example last night meetings was a one hour meeting uh, next week another two hours meeting because we're going to go in technicalities because we use technology we, we have a platform where you receive the application and everything and there's another part where we we're going to train you on how to assess an application what impact is what is capacity building what is organizational capacity so so you can better assess the application so again i sent two links in the chat i don't know if you know what i'm talking about but what i'm going to do quickly i'm just going to share share it so you can see what i'm talking about so here it is so selection committee for the third call for proposal so we talk just, about just, just to just to reiterate just to make sure we're clear so right now what you're showing us this is this is for those who want to apply to be a part of the judging panel or like the judging yeah. committee kind of thing okay perfect yeah judging panel so again like i said you need to be a professional you know some elements about the black community and then and you you are ready to to learn how to assess but on the same link that i sent you here are the information you're going to find it's the full information about the initiative the initiative first you see here if it says apply this is the platform where if you want to if you are a non-profit organization and you want to get access to these funds this is where you apply as an organization who wants to be supported. You see, you go here and then, uh, and here, this is the program guidelines. So basically, you know everything about the grant. This is a national program. So where you are, where, wherever you are in Canada, you can apply. And this is the guidelines. We're giving all the explanation. So this is element one. Element two, uh, I don't know what's going on here. Element two is, um, this is to apply. And then, you know, in order to better help people so they can fill their application, we have information sessions. We have information session. For example, today, today we have in for mission sessions hold on you see today tuesday december 5th in the afternoon there's an information session at 1 30 and in english at five so again if on the call you are not non-profit so you you will not apply for example but you can share the information to any Black-led organization that you know who might be interested in having a grant. Uh, look about it. I'm just going to give you the maximums. In the same application, you can apply for 45000 and you can apply for another 60000 So total, 105. So any Black organizations you know who might need support, you share the link to them. And information sessions are important because this is where First, you can ask questions, but also we give you uh, substantial substantial information on how to better prepare yourself. Again, 
Um, the deadline is in two days. You have until December 15 to apply, but very important tonight at five, there's an English information session. And all you have to do, you click here. Click here, what happening? <laughs> and then you put your name information and then bam. So you will receive the link so you can participate in this information session. So let me recap. Today, I talked to you about three things. First, if you are a nonprofit and you want to apply to this grant, on this link, you can apply directly. The second thing I talked today, if you want some more information on this grant and how to apply and how to better prepare yourself to apply, you, you can participate to information sessions. There's one today at five. And the third thing I talked today, either it's for you because you are not involved in a nonprofit or you know any other professional who can be interested. If you want, you can join the panel of judges who's going to be assessing the application. Again, what we do, it's an open, fair, and transparent process. So that's why all the community is invited to be part of the jury. Is there any um, question, information, inquiries? Well, first, Ed, thank you. Um, thank you for sharing the information again and, to, and for making yourself available this morning to connect with directly with the community. Um, again, like I've mentioned in our in some of our groups, I think this is a huge job um, because we've had the privilege of dealing with a lot of members who have a lot of great initiatives, a lot of great ideas, um, who even have been serving people within the community, but they're not structured as a nonprofit organization. Um, so this is a huge opportunity where, um, and I think one of the things that um, Ed, um, that you didn't touch on is that for this, in this particular case, one of the most important things is that you have to be a registered entity, that your nonprofit does need to be created. Uh, it has to be more than you just, you know, offering the services and stuff to the people that you currently serve. You do need to be uh, a registered uh, and get your NEQ number. Um, and so that is what will make the difference, um, you know, like in, in this particular application. But it's not a hard process to register your NEQ. Um, if you need any support with that, you can always reach out to Group 3737 as well for guidance. Um, but we do have people in house as well, like Tashana could help you with registering your nonprofit. We we have a bunch of different administrators, um, just that could give you that initial support, just to make sure your nonprofit is set up. Do not um, hesitate or delay on that process of registering your nonprofit because it does take a couple of days for you to get your NEQ number uh, when you go to create it. Uh, pay the extra for the rush so that you get it within, um, I think it's like 48 hours or something like that. Um, but so that you can actually qualify for this, uh, for this, um, for this funding call right now. Okay. So I do want to create an opportunity, just give you guys the opportunity to ask any questions that you might have guys. And, and I do, uh, I, I strongly recommend that for those who are available this evening to join us, uh, this evening in the, um, the more in-depth session, if you're, more comfortable, c'était plus à l'aise en français. Il y a le, le session une heure et demie, uh, trois heures et demie. Um, mais sinon, if you prefer the English session, then that one is from five. It's five to six thirty. Uh, yeah. yeah, five to six thirty. Five to six thirty. Perfect. One hour and a half. Uh, all right. So with that, now did we have any other questions? And I see your brother, somebody, Akim. Uh, welcome. Thanks for being here. Did anybody Thank else you. have? Yes, brother Sheila. And yes, sister. Okay, Sheila, you go ahead and then Sashana. The floor is yours. Uh, sister first. Who? Uh, sister Tishana may, may go ahead. Pa Pardon? Uh, sister Tishana may go ahead first. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sister Tishana, go ahead. <laughs> Ladies first. Okay. I just wanted to ask um, the meetings that you are hosting today. Are they only for businesses out of Quebec? No. No. Today at 5 p.m. it's an infamous and it's, it's an information session run by Group Transit Transit regarding the grant in Quebec. But the information I, I, I need I need to share with you is the four organizations are running information session these days. 
about 90% of the information is the same. Whoever you go, either with Black Business Initiative, Africa Center, Tropicana Community Services, or Group 1030. About 90% of the information of the program is the same because it's a national program. But there's some regional uh, specificities. For example, if you are in the province of Quebec, the deadline for you to create your nonprofit is till the deadline of the application. So if you're not created as of today, you still can create it. If you're outside of Quebec, your organization should have already been created before. The, the call for a project. So this is one difference. And there's other differences, like for example, on some eligible, eligible expenses or not, some ratios. Like I said, 90% is the same information in the country, but regionally, Black Business for the East, Tropicana for Ontario, Africa Center for the West, they have some Many, many differences. That answers your question? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Shilap. Thank you for the response. Yes. Yeah. Can. Oh, sorry. Okay, go ahead, Brother Shilap. And then, uh, Dr. Pierre, if you have a question after, you could go ahead. Yes, thank you very much, Brother Head. Um, I know you from other people, so great work, brother. Really appreciate Good, your work. You. I think I know you too from other people. <laughs> yes, sir. So great. So I know your brothers and so on and so forth. So great. So so the so brother, I just have a question. So in regard of uh, the meeting of tonight or of today, what is the link for that meeting? So I I press on the two links, but it was not that link. So yes, maybe I missed something. Link, uh, I'm gonna send it. I'm going to share it ag again. All done. I'm going to reshare it now. Boom. Information sessions. I click. Poof. Copy. And I go. Chat. Paste. So I just, I just uh, put it back in the chat. Um, so you click on this link and then you'll be able to see the dates. You're going to see that today, Tuesday, December 5th at 5 p.m. There's an English information session, but also at 1.30 p.m. There's a French information session. And again, Group Transet Transet is a bilingual organization. So even though you go in the French information session, so basically... What you're going to read will be in French. But if you're English speaking, you can also ask questions in English, even though if it's a French session. Same thing at night. It's at 5 p.m. It's an English information session. The information is written in English. But again, if you have a question in French, you still can ask the question. We're going we're gonna to answer so basically, there's two information sessions today regarding the grant. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you for that. But uh, among all of you, is there anyone who might be interested to be part of that jury who, who is not involved in a Black-led nonprofit who's going to apply? And you are willing to give some time to the community so we can so you can be a jury on... On, on that committee. So again, you can uh, on the same link, you reach out to us, uh, letting us know that you are interested to be part of the jury. Again, there is a, a meeting this Tuesday regarding people who are interested in the jury. So it's going to be uh, this Thursday at noon. I know I give a lot of dates, but that's why I give you the link. So you can click and you can reach out to us. But, you know, I had a question actually about the about the panel, because like 
members of the OFC, would that be seen as a conflict of interest if they wanted to join the panel? No, if you're just members. No, I mean, you. I don't know, maybe you have 1,000 members. Yeah, we do have a lot. Yeah, imagine us, Group Transet Transet. We supported 2,000 entrepreneurs since the last 10 years. So any entrepreneur who we supported, that you are not in the organization. You're not an administrator. You're not an employee. So again, all you have to do at the beginning is to let us know that you, as far as you know, you are not an administrator and you are not an employee of an organization who have the intention to apply. This is the very first element to avoid conflict of interest. And then we look how professional your profile is uh, to what organizations you belong to. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. I see Dr. Pierre has his hand up. And then I'm curious to know from the um, uh, people here who's who's going to be, um, who's interested in applying. I would like to also get an idea uh, of that as well. Uh, and then we'll be looking to close. So Dr. Pierre, the floor is yours. And then there's a second yes. hand just now. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, good morning again. Thanks for the beautiful presentation. Um, we uh, have a, a nonprofit organization here in Toronto called Cancaro. We do uh, research, uh, basically um, black research, but specifically research in the in the human trafficking industry, which is which is an industry dominated by black you know black people, especially from the the from Quebec on Ontario routes, and we will definitely be interested in in uh, applying for that uh, grant, and we believe that um, you know so we want to know if we are in in Ontario, um, and also we deal with a lot of um, some of the uh, the traffickers both Ontario and Quebec. Should we apply just only in Ontario, or should we? Uh, where should we, we we apply? Either in Ontario and Quebec, or just only Ontario, or Ontario and Quebec? To so just give us some information on that. You apply in the territory where your head office is. Okay. Thank so you. if if you're registered in Ontario, and I'm gonna put the link of uh, Tropicana. So I just share it. So this is where you you're gonna apply. But but again again I don't want to be uh, too technical. But when you are outside of Quebec, when you're outside of Quebec, you have the choice to choose which one of the three organizations you want to apply to. Either you want to apply through BBI, Black Business Initiative, which is located in the, the, the Eastern Canada. You can apply through Tropicana and you can apply to Africa Center. So when you are outside of Quebec, you choose you intermediary independently of where you are located. So it's only, you know, Quebec is always special. Only in Quebec, you have one intermediary, which is Group I love that. Thank you, Ed. Uh, Sean, I saw your hand is up. I uh, was up. I'm sure if you still had a question, but can I just get a quick uh, show of hands, either just on the screen or in the chat or whatever, if you if you think you will be applying um, for the for this funding. You are discreet. I think a Dorothy, okay, Dorothy, Dorothy Williams should apply. Good. In my opinion. Yeah, if she's a non-profit or if her non-profit is not created, she have within the next few days. Uh, the, the thing it's important for us to say, uh, back in the days, it could have takes two to three business days to really be registered. Now, since 2022, there's, I think, one more step in the process. So it might take more days. So knowing that today we are December 5th, if you need to create your nonprofit, start it today. Make yeah. sure that within the next few days, 
you get your formal and acute numéro d'enregistrement du Québec so you can apply. And I, I'm going to remind so you... Hi, Dorini. Is your non-profit already exist? Yes, it was set up uh, federally. But uh, I'm going to, over the next 48 hours, uh, do the uh, application within Quebec to get the NAQ. Yes. But please. the organization is already uh, okay. chartered. Yeah. But like I said, you need the NAQ, so do it like the fastest you can. And pay for the rush. Pay for the rush. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Um, and also, okay. one of the new things that they created here in Quebec, I don't know if it's like that across Canada, but when you're registering, you need to bring a picture ID of your members of the board. Um, yeah. They need the picture of the ID and the date of birth. That was always so it's always the date of birth their full address, and a picture of their ID is what you need when you're registering. So uh, this is the delay. So that's why there's a bit more delay. That's so, it. So uh, very important to take care of this. So, okay. So, and, so, and this is good. And I, actually, and I think, Brother Fabian, you also were working on a nonprofit initiative as well, right? So. Yes, but right now, I'm not in a position to, uh, to participate in the next 48 hours to have this done for this one day. You wouldn't be able to apply in the next 48 hours, you said? Well, the application, no, the, well, the application is open until December 15th. It, 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 you have 10 days to apply. What we're saying takes 48 hours is just the time it takes for when you need to register your nonprofit. But is it, do you need some support in doing it? Like, is it that you're not too sure exactly what the process is? You need some help setting up your nonprofit? Yes, exactly. That's, that's part of it. The other part is the actual finances. But well, that's the whole point. The, the, yeah, so that's yeah. Well, that, that's why we're here. It is to get access to the financing. And that's one thing that we didn't say. Different than the other grants, this is a grant that you actually don't need to come with any capital. Like you don't need to have a 10% down or 20%. This is one of the funds that you could actually just apply for. Now I'm looking at the time. It's 8.30. We've had a great time. I like that. I'm a stickler for time. I like to respect everybody's time. This has been an exceptional uh, information session. Thank you, my brother, Ed, for uh, participating, joining with us. We're looking forward to being on this morning. Um, if you uh, are available, I strongly encourage you guys to participate this afternoon and this evening, if you can, to find out all information. So with that, guys, I am wishing you guys an exceptional day. And I'm always grateful to life, God, our creator, and our ancestors for creating this opportunity. And I just ask that life continue to bless each and every one of you, that your businesses continue to grow so you can sustain yourselves, your family, as well as your community. Hotep, amen. Asha, everybody. Peace and blessings. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Thank you.